in uh, winding up our series of the uh, urinary tract, what do you think this might be? Well, it's a space. It's lined by a certain kind of epithelium. And then we have uh, wide open structures surrounding it. We have bands of pink tissue here. And then we have a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see if we could figure it out. Let's start by going to the middle and looking at the epithelium. The epithelium looks like it's stratified squamous because it is. You could see basal cells towards the surface. You could see flatter squamous cells at the top. And you could see sort of cuboidal cells in the middle. Notice that the connective tissue uh, underneath this does not have any hair follicles and there's no keratinization so you can't call this skin. Also notice that, that there are little mucus glands however directly underneath this uh, epithelium emptying into larger ducts. Notice also that there is a wealth of uh, vascular spaces or endothelial line spaces which look like sort of a venous plexus and it's because it is a specialized venous plexus of erectile tissue. This is the corpus spongiosum, and this is the spongy urethra, which is the last portion of the urethra. Part of the urethra is within the uh, prostate gland. That's called the prostatic urethra. Distal to that is the part of the prostate that goes through the, uh, uh, is between the spongy urethra and the prostatic urethra going through the urogenital membrane called the membranous urethra. Here's the longest part of the male urethra. Stratified squamous epithelium, mucous glands of litre, L-I-T-T-R-E, emptying into ducts, which will eventually empty into the lumen to provide secretions. Erectile tissue, which are basically sort of a venous plexus of endothelial line spaces filled with blood, surrounded by smooth muscle and connective tissue here. Uh, here's some more of this erectile tissue. And now we have a more fibrous connective tissue, which would delineate the corpus spongiosum. And I believe this may also be called the tunica albiginea, but don't quote me on it. Uh, also notice we have uh, our usual amount of nerves, blood vessels. This is all erectile tissue here. These are all glands of litre here. And here's the actual uh, mucosa of the male uh, spongy urethra here. Uh, I don't think there's anything more we want to say, uh, except this is really probably one of the nicest urethras that I've ever seen. So you can take a quick little uh, picture of that as well in your mind. And we are now finished with the urinary tract, and uh, uh, I thank you very much.